Hello everybody, uh, welcome to our group stream of Eclipse Phase, the Devotees. My name is Kevin, I will be the GM for the evening, and these people to my uh, right, left, right, I don't know. Your left. Are, uh, yeah, but on the screen is probably on the right. These are my lovely players. Uh, so why don't you guys introduce yourselves and your characters. Alright, uh, so my name is Kim, and I will be playing Gavin. Uh, the uh, smooth-talking Octomorph. I'm gonna be, hi, everybody. I'm Alex. I'm going to be playing Ellis, the uh, fashion-conscious Rustermorph. Um, Michael, and I'm playing Zora. Uh, she is a badass anarchist hacktivist, uh, and she is in a ghost morph, and it's less spooky than you'd think. Uh, and I'm Nick, and I'm playing Amir, who is currently a, a pretty shy spider tank. Fair enough. All right, so uh, last session we had you guys get um, a little bit of information about your mission. You are supposed to infiltrate the asteroid Legba, which is the home of the Nine Lives uh, gang, uh, which are notorious uh, as they're, they're people who steal egos. They're all around uh, bad dudes. Um, what else? You were told that there was an X threat, perhaps, on Legba, and that Firewall's contact there uh, needed extraction and debriefing. And you guys prepared a little bit. You found some information on what was going on with Nine Lives uh, on Extropia, where you were. And you, uh, you took a ship to Legba and uh, got off and were, a, you know... Just killed some punks right out of the gate, so you could establish some some cred. Is that is that about cover it? You guys, you forgot about Va. I think that was his name. Oh right. Well, tell me about Va. Made that long conversation with his soul. He almost became my pet, but he didn't want to. <laughs> right. Uh, he was one of the nine lives um, members. We only had his uh, core. Uh, his ego, yeah. His ego. Whoa. His cortical stack. Yeah. And so we tried to get some information out of it, which we managed to do, but only a little bit. Okay. All right, very good. All right, so um, so you guys uh, are in Legba. Um, you're in the docking area. Let me uh, flip you guys over there. Um if you remember, right outside of the uh, the airlock is a pile of well, not it's not a pile of bodies because there's no gravity, but there is a a bunch of bodies floating with uh, with slits along the back of their necks, like their their cortical stacks were were just extracted. Um, there's sort of blood droplets floating in the air, and um, there are blood droplets and bits of brain and bone floating around you because Amir just decided to spray some punk with a submachine gun. That guy did have it coming to him. Fair enough. I mean, Good job. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a tank, and those guys were trying to mess with my friends. All right. So what are you guys doing? Uh, Probably well, not. As I recall, spot. in the other direction were the armed guards, right? Like, some yeah. pretty armed guards guarding a door. Yeah, so a couple of airlocks down, there's there's a bunch of people who are, like, in Milspec gear. Um, they're both... Um, they both got like maglock boots to the floor, and they're just carrying like um, either assault rifles or plasma weapons or something. Something heavy. Do they duty. see what happens, and do they care? Uh, they don't seem to react. They they seem interested, but like they're not. They're not stopping you in any way. They're sort of curious onlookers, you might say. All right, I catch a few droplets out of the air and like put them under my eyelids like that. All right. You would. It's battle That's... time. All right. Well, um, what was uh, we, what was the head? We also got the name. Of, we also got the name of the leader here. Um, I'm not sure what we actually did with it. Yeah, hot soup or something. Uh, so, so the name that the guy said was Su Wu. He was saying, yeah, Subu's going to come help him. Yeah, the, ga yeah, the gang wild. member, when you threatened him, he was like, yo, Subu's my dude. And you were like... Yeah, yeah, but care. he was like completely lying. 
Mm -hmm. We could tell that there was like no way Su Wu cared about him. Or that's was right. Gonna, like, that's right. From right. his body language, you could tell that Su Wu was just like totally above his pay grade and did not care about him. Or at least right. he, he didn't lie. That guy didn't believe it. At the right. Very least. Okay. Um, so what's what's ahead of us more down this way, down these airlocks away from the armed guys? Um, there's there's passages into the rest of the station. The station is, is rather large. Right. Um, and there are a number of places you could go. All right, well, what do you guys want to do? We came so, here to uh, sell some stacks, so... No, no, we, we didn't actually come here to sell <laughs> yeah, we, we don't need to do that. No, don't uh, say that out that loud. Was, that was just a cover-up. <laughs> no, I'm talking on our... Uh, what is it, the mesh? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah you guys yeah, can talk yeah. on your local mesh. Yeah, that, That's only to each other, right, Kevin? Unless somebody hacks into our mesh. Well, I mean, you can send messages to other people in the mesh, but you I assume you probably have, like... A private mesh setup. Yeah, well, I mean, like, you know, it's like a aim chat room or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I was going to say. All right, it's chat room. So, all right, well, yes, I it, out it loud, I say, we're here to sell some stacks. Let's find somebody, but secretly, you know, <laughs> I'm like, guys, don't listen to what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're here to do something else. Don't 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 get confused by my words. Alex, Guys, don't be obvious. Alex, how thirsty are you? Pretty thirsty. Okay. It's all um, vodka. Cool. Uh, <laughs> so, but, but right now we have we do have we have Voth Voth stacks. We also have a bunch of cloned Voth stacks, and we also have the guy we just wasted his stack. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Um, but what we're really trying to do is find our friend. Yeah. Uh, so... Amaru Tometi, I believe. Yep, Amaru Tometi. That's right. Who may or may not actually go by that name here on Legba. Right. Okay. Is there... So is there, like, a Legba mesh or something like that? Yeah, of course. Yeah, you guys are already connected to it. Is there a way that we could, I don't know, search that mesh for... Um, what's her name? Amaru. Amaru Tomoti? Sure. Yeah. Do you want I to? I bet uh, your muse could do all that work. Yeah, your muse could do that. Did you wanna? Did you wanna have your muse do that? No, I'm gonna have my um, muse do that. Oh, all right. Fine. Jeez, my muse is better though. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> So what is it that you were doing? Um, well, I thought Alex wanted to do it, but otherwise I'll gladly do it. Somebody oh. do it. Alex, going once. No, it's okay. I'll, I'll save. Go for it. Go for it. All right. So fine. I uh, I call up um, Chippy, um, the cartoonish fish-looking dude that's my muse, and say, um, "Look, Chippy, can you?" Uh, Gavin. Can you do a, a sweep of the Legba mesh here and, uh, and look swept, for swept. Um, Super clean. Maru uh, Maruti or any trace of her? That is a strange name. Can you spell it, please? And please include the capital letters required, Gavin. I thought you were I do so. <laughs> there oh. are nobody here with that name. Are you sure your spelling was correct, Gavin? She might be going under a different name, Jibby, so... Try all the anagrams of Amaro. Use your imagination. I'm going to do all the permutations of all the letters that you gave me, and nope, nobody here by that name. You've been a great help, Jibby. <laughs> so have you, Gavin. You've been the best boss ever. I know. Feel free to call on me whenever you want. I'll be here waiting for you, because we are friends. Okay. I love you, Gavin. This has been a great interaction. Don't forget about me. Is there surveillance on Legba? Um, well, so, okay. So in Eclipse phase, there are cameras basically everywhere. Like, um, have you ever heard of, there's this thing they're trying to do. It's sort of it's sort of a ways off still in current technology. But, like, they want to make roads out of, like, sensors. They want to, like, embed sensors in, mm -hmm. um, in roads, just like RFID sensors. That Eclipse Phase has that to like the nth degree. Like every every panel in the station has sensors in it. 
uh, there are there are literally cameras and different sensors of heat, light, uh, radiation, just everywhere. Um, so like you can call up information and should you have access to it. Uh, Do we have a picture of uh, Miss uh, Maruti? Timoti? No, you don't. You do have a way of finding about her out about her her whereabouts though. Do you remember? It had to do with the the transmitter thingy. Right, the QECOM. Yeah. All right. I guess we can send a message that we, well. So we only have like a limited amount of like messages, right? That's our yes. that's our entanglement. Okay, got it. Yeah. yeah. Just How use like shortened text. Like yeah, yeah. So it's exactly. So it's a it's a it's a device that has a reservoir of qubits. Which are entangled with uh, qubits in a reservoir that Peros has, uh, so you can send a message to him. But once all the qubits are are used, uh, the device no longer functions. You so how to... much like how much do we have? How many? Messages? You, I mean, you just want to send text messages. It's I'm I don't think it's going to be a big deal. You, just, right, so you, like, I... you can't use video. Or, like, <laughs> I'll I'll send a. a need to a talk a in QE... pager code. I I'll send a QE message. Yo, okay. we on Legba yo. Where are you? All right. Um, LOL. It's my right. So uh, you receive a message back from Pyrrhus telling you that um, Amaru is on uh, oh my God, a, so a piece of the station called Psychopomp. I'll type it in All chat. Right. Let's like call up the map on the mesh and see where Sega Bump is. Sure, you guys have the have the map ready, right? Wait, sorry. So uh, then we get a message back saying that she's at Psycho Pump. Yep. Mm -hmm. Kevin, I think the map that you gave us was the background. It wasn't like yeah. a yeah. handout. Okay. There a... you go. Oh yeah. And we're near, like we're near zombie, right? Yeah, you're in zombie yeah. right now. We're in zombie, that's right. All right, the Psycho Pump is like, I'm in, I can't tell exactly how far away that is, but, oh, actually, I can. Um, <laughs> I mean, that's not that far. That's like a kilometer away. All right, let's. One, two, three. Yeah. All right, so, so as you guys, like, uh, like, zoom out of your maps, you see that there's a, a, like, mechanical, like, sort of snake man standing in front of you, or like holding on to the side of the bulkhead next to you. Hello. He's like, hello. What? What's up? He says, I have a message for you. Oh yeah? From oh. whom? Um, he doesn't say anything. He like extends a folded piece of paper towards you. Paper? On right, paper. All right, I snatch it. What's on it? Anthrax. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Do we know who is that? Is that the she, uh, Katsuro okay. is? No. Uh, guys, this is a invitation. All right, I'll have my muse. Uh, I'll have my muse find it. Who isn't a muse um, yet? So, uh, I don't think I am, and Kevin, I don't do, think Nick does, is. does the name uh, Kyoshi Katsuru uh, ring any bells for me? Um, why don't you ask your muse to do that, and I'll look it up real quick. I don't think so. Uh, I've never established who my muse is. So pick, do you can pick Kim or Nick. Okay. Um, Nick, you want to be my muse? Yeah. All right. My muse is, my muse's name is Evac. And it is a uh, it's a disembodied um, police radio broadcast uh, like that comes through like really crappy uh, like like an emergency broadcast. All right. It, it goes well with my flaming city uh, uh, mesh. That's, that's a oh, good yeah. challenge. It's solid. <laughs> it's true. Pretty good challenge. All right. So his name is Evac. Gotcha. Yeah. Evac. Who, who, the he who the hell is this Kyoshi Katsuru? And make it snappy, come on. We're being asked to go to uh, her style by, uh, to meet Kyoshi Katsuru, guys. Uh, um, yeah, but, like, what, what is, 
your move isn't very good. That's all Evac can say. Evac. <laughs> then, then you Evac to interpret Evac for you. It's just, it's just uh, leave the area. No go. records! <laughs> I think the last one was no record, Michael. Oh, okay. Uh, you gotta, you gotta do like dash V on this guy. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, so we just got an invitation to go to what was it? Uh, I just closed Paris, Paris style, something, style. which is the opposite direction of Psycho. Good luck. Thanks, Evac. You're. Can we just ask this uh, real sweetheart, dude? Oh, he like he like slithers away, like a <laughs> like a swimming snake. Like a uh, snake. I want to ask. Um, I think croak his body's like all metal. My, my mute, I believe, is croak. Um, I'm I'm wondering if croak can track down that um, wax seal for me. Okay. Sure. Uh, I'm I like hold it in front of me or whatever, and I'm like croak. Um, Capture this image and compare it to any records. This is the the wax seal on the invitation. Yeah. Oh. Um, so so Croak's lava lamp kind of flickers flickers to life, and then the, the blobs start moving. What what, what is it, man? What, what is what is going on? Uh, all right, all right. Got a seal? Cool. This is a this is pretty old style, man. This is a pretty rare shit. Uh, it's it's antique wax, man. This is this is this is old. It's like like earth old. Like the style of it. It's it's titanium, man. Mm. As long as it's not Slytherin house, I'm okay with whatever you come up with. <laughs> Man, that is a deep reference. That is a, that it's is a, it's old, a deep dive. That is an old classic book, man. Yeah, it's like 300 years old. <laughs> Nobody knows about that book anymore. Everybody knows about that book anymore. The, 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 the remake hologram movies were shit, man. <laughs> what about those prequels? Remember the prequels? You gotta, you gotta watch them in an original DVD format. No, you gotta, you gotta see the remake starring the son of Barack Obama. Right all right. All right. So. Anyway, uh, so that's it. It's just like really old style. But the the wax imprint um, is of is of a t titanium design. Right. Like the well, moon titanium. Titan is the uh, moon of of Saturn. Saturn. Okay, but but what what is uh, but what is the context of what that would mean? It, it, do, like, what do we know about the tit Titan? Like, what is Titan? Just like another place. Yeah, it's a place. Um, so Titan is a place that is. Um, you would say it's like the hub of the outer system. The outer system is characterized by um, it's like space Denmark. Uh, okay. Yeah. Space Happy Denmark. So, to totally good. Okay. Cool. No, like like uh, it's it's pretty free and open, uh, but like everybody, you know, it's like sort of socialist. Uh, every, you don't have to pay for anything, but like you're expected to contribute to society. You don't understand space Denmark at all. No. Maybe not. Uh, all right. So okay. But but so I guess the point is that this design is like super old, but this clearly would have been done pretty recently. Like. Yeah. Well, there's uh, part of it is that like the wax is like actual wax, which. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah. The I imagine they. The seals from Titan, which wouldn't have been colonized longer ago than like the last hundred or two hundred years, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, for sure. Last forty years, probably. Okay. Wow. All right. Interesting. Do we know anybody from Titan? Like any like uh, firewall contacts or anything? Oh, there definitely are firewall people on Titan, but uh, I don't think any of you know any of them. All Could right. We... Oh, go on. I was just gonna say, Gavin. I suggest that you ask Pyrrhus about um, whatever Katsuro. Kyoshi Katsuro. Yeah. Just just text him like. Like that name with a question mark, and maybe like you know Titan or something. All right. I mean, sure. it, seems, uh, it, it seems strange that his name is not coming up at all, and he's asking us to meet us on this right. space station. You know. 
It's it's super strange. How would he even know who we well, are? Well, like, he wants the yeah. cortical yeah. stacks. Nobody, well, who knows that we were going to be here enough to, like, right. make a paper note maybe, and send maybe it's the agent snaky uh, messenger to come well, meet us. That's why I'm saying we should ask Pyrrhus, like, does that name mean anything, right? Like, All right, that's food. fine. I'll I'll send a, a message to Piros over the QE, um, saying like, um, do you do you know um, was it uh, Kyoshi Katsuro? Uh, okay, a few seconds pass and then just an just an end comes back. All right, um, can we uh, can we check out the footage of whatever is going on in uh, both Psychopomp and Peristyle right now? Uh, sure. I mean, they are habitats, right? So, um, you can you can access the public mesh in Peristyle, and then the other one you want to look at was Psychopomp. Psychopomp. Uh, you cannot access Psychopomp. Cannot like, but try really hard. or like we would have to do some work or I mean, we'd have to do some Do we know what Psychopomp is? Is it like a club? No, it's a, it's a station. So Legba has like a bunch of um, pieces like lashed onto it, right? So there's like there's like some some actual like tin can stations. Um, there's the central uh, uh, like interior of the asteroid honeycomb and stuff, which you are right now in. Um, Psychopomp, I believe, is a, a piece that's been added on to to Legba. There's also like something that looks as you were approaching, you saw there was like a, a piece of a warship hull that had been like strapped to it. Okay. And so all you right, assume yeah, that so all of these like are I habitats. Am. Yeah, but these they're like different places on the on the asteroid. Or attached to it. So what do you guys want to do? Well, uh, so I say, uh, look, um, Piroz doesn't know any uh, Kyoshi Katsuro, um, and uh, I don't know, considering how we were greeted here at the station, it might not be uh, advisable to just follow any old invitation. Yeah, but uh, at the same time, we're going to go to Psychopomp just because that's like the last place this person was seen like weeks and weeks ago. That's what Piroz says she is. Where are you going to... We gotta start somewhere, right? I was I was thinking if we make an acquaintance, then we could start like uh, looking around here. Well, I mean, she she contacted him saying like I desperately need extraction and debriefing, right? So like she would probably have told him pretty accurately, right? Like where to where to start looking for her at the very least. Yeah. But that was at least ten days ago. Or right. right, it doesn't say that she was necessarily in like she wasn't like holed up in like. Uh... <laughs> ventilation shaft or something like that. But if she's telling him, like, look for me in Psychopomp, right, there's a reason. It could, at the very least, be the first clue if she's not actually just sitting right there in Psychopomp. If you guys are so inclined to go to Psychopomp, I'm not going to stand in your way. I mean, Kyoshi's message didn't have a time frame on it. but It also didn't sure. It didn't give us, like, any reason to deviate from what we're, I think, considering a pretty important objective. Look, anybody here know anybody from Titan? No, 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 no. All right. It's probably a trap. Let's go to Psychopomp. Yeah. Why would it be a trap? Why would they lure us with someone that we don't know? It's, I mean, I don't even know that that matters. Why? Look, you guys are considering it. Obviously, it's working. <laughs> I'm not considering it. I... I, the tank like waves a couple of its arms in the direction of psychopomps. Like, come on, sally forth. Yeah. Look, Amir, like usual. Thing is, like, we just don't want to like uh, we don't want to like get on anyone's bad side while we're here either. You know, we got enough. I mean, we got on those guys' bad side. Now. Let's go to psychopomp. See if there's any hint of uh, Marudi. Yeah, and we'll if not, it. then we'll go to uh, yeah, this freaking. Peristyle, this station isn't that big. No, it's not. Let's, let's make a quick sweep and and then decide if we want to meet our uh, our, our, our benefactor. Okay. All right. All right, so you guys are heading. Gavin makes like a little okay. like swimming motion and shoots off through the low gravity towards Psychopomp. 
All right. All right, so you guys travel through the interior of the asteroid. Um, the Most of it is just a beehive of, of little twists and turns and, and passages. You can see every once in a while there is like an alcove or a, a room, uh, and most of them are guarded or or armored or both. Um, but for a while, you make your way towards towards Psychopomp. Um, as soon as you enter the, uh, the piece of the asteroid, it becomes obvious that this is the hub of... Um, Nine lives, ego casting and um, resleeving operations on the asteroid. Uh, its co- its quarters are covered in healing vats and clone pods and workstations. There's a range of morphs here uh, that is you know, rivals anything you've seen in Extropia. Um, and uh, through the din, you can constantly hear uh, screaming victims coming from rooms, uh, and they're being herded around by like these disinterested operators who are just like walking around just like any other day and there's these, they're just leading these people to like you know their ego deaths so these these, these are the the like redundant stolen copies of egos or no well so this is where they um the, they have this is basically their their receiving facilities right so okay. uh for example they might um for whatever reason decide to sleeve an ego uh that they had captured for you know yeah. Wherever, wherever they might decide to do that, um, for torture or for, you know, to give them the hope of escape or, uh, you know, whatever they're doing. Uh, this also would be where uh, Nine Lives members who decided to would far cast in to the station. Right. So, right. conceivably, if they if they trusted the facilities here, they would they would come here uh, via far casting. Um, and this is also where people without stacks or whose stacks had been already been removed could uh, be re-uploaded. All right, as we as we kind of uh, make our way through, I imagine trying to um, just blend into the crowd. Tell Chippy, uh, Chippy, keep uh, keep a note of of uh, everything that's going on here. This is gonna make uh, this might gonna make a great blog post once we get back. <laughs> Uh, okay, hold on. Um, oh man, I typed up the whole message you weren't. I typed a message to Kim, but uh, his character name wasn't. Okay. <laughs> All right. So yeah. So you're you're walking through the um, through the hallways. You can see that the, that the receiving receiving bays are numbered. Um, there are guards pretty much everywhere. It seems like security is tight here, but you can tell a lot of the guards. Um, a lot of them wear have like fetishes hanging from their from their. Um, their belts. Um, they're dressed in in all sorts of uh, different manners. Um, there are a pretty wide number of morphs, but most of them are either like you know fury combat morphs or bouncer morphs, or um, or just regular splicers. Uh, right, tattoos uh, yeah. and dreadlocks are common. Go ahead. All right, so uh, uh, I guess uh, I share I share the little uh, QE message over our little private mesh. Um, it says. Uh, it says, uh, go to resleeving bay 12, ask if there's any bouncers that aren't so bouncy. And I look around for resleeving bay 12. Yeah, one of the one of the uh, hallways is labeled resleeving bay 12. Nice. He did it. All right. So we, uh, I guess we approach. Anything special about it? Anything out of the ordinary? Um, yeah, people so you... Their business? Yeah, so there's people going over their business. You can see that there's, um, there's clearly some... Somebody, like, being... Um, Woken up from, from you know, receiving uh, on a table. There's a receptionist. Um, she smiles at you, uh, like sort of half-heartedly, as you walk in. And there's a man, um, like sharpening knives next to the person who's about to wake up. Say, so, um, hey there. Who are you talking to? 
the guy with the knives, I guess. Oh, he's like, uh, hey, what you want? And he's like, you know, he like pulls out like a big machete and he's like, say, so, uh, well, um, my uh, friend here. And I like look around at like Ellis. Uh, uh-huh. is kind of tired of this uh, old uh, ruster morph and we're looking for, you know, uh, something something a little more exciting, something a little more bouncy, but maybe not too bouncy. Um, the receptionist, like, head, like, snaps towards you. Um, and the guy, like, looks at you who's like, you fucked in the head, man. You want to just leave here? Come on, I'll take you in the back. Uh, on second uh, thought, maybe I'll just hold off on that. <laughs> See, what no, we... no, 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 come on, Alice. Come on, Alice. It's time to treat yourself. Let's go. <laughs> uh, it's, your, it's your birthday, and we're gonna get you a nice new sleeve. No, this this roster morph is doing just look, fine. Do, do you, look around you. Does it look like Mars? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it don't look like anybody else here is wearing that ridiculous roster suit. Come on. <laughs> So anyway, I, I'll walk up to the secretary, or away from the dude, like, back off away from him. Be like, no thank you, change my mind. Alright, he, like, he, like, nods and, like, laughs to himself and, like, continues, you know, sharpening his, his, his knife. Go up to the secretary. Well, did, did all of us see her, like, look at us, or? Um, in our general? Yeah, yeah, you guys, you guys saw that she reacted to that. <laughs> So, so, yeah. so, so wait, when he said, when he laughed and said, come to the back, was he offering an alternative place to resleeve? Or was he saying, let's just get it, let's go, let's go to the back where we do it here? Oh, he, yeah, he was like, come into the back and I'll like, I'll like upload you. And oh, okay, okay. He wasn't taking us to like a second location. No, 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 it was here. But like it wasn't like a, a like a like a back room like a like a not the normal resleeving place. No, no, no. It was just oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Just okay. Back room of the back room of the resleeve. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right. I turn to the uh, the reception. And say uh, your uh, your friend here could use some better table or uh, bed manners, bedside manners. Uh, ta- table manners is fine. <laughs> table manners, bedside he, manners. He does have know. his he does have his utensils out. Yeah. All right. Um, she like puts on like a half tough face. She's like, "What's it to you?" Well, um, seems like maybe uh, perhaps you know you know where I can find a uh, find a, a a bouncer morph that's not quite so bouncy. She says, um, "What the fuck are you talking about?" And like um, her like hand like you can tell like leaves like something on the table. Um, I like, uh, I like raise a couple of tentacles up to, as a distraction and another one that kind of like slides over and like grabs and I says, like, obviously this place is for trashy morphs and trashy people. I'll just take my business elsewhere. Thank you. Let's go guys. All right. Why don't you, why don't you make a, uh, a little stealth check? You can give a, you can get a plus 20 on that. Uh, one second. Let me, let me see whether I have any ability at that whatsoever. Um, I believe if you don't, it's savvy times. Or I'll just savvy. Is it just called stealth? There is a palming. Oh yeah, palming is good. Perfect. Oh, I do have palming, so well. There you go. Well, but you don't have about, palms. But... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Suction cups and many tentacles is much better than palms. I'm a higher form of life. You can wave a lot of them to distract, and then with one of them, just like suck it up. With one tentacle giveth, what? and with the other taketh what away. Was, what did you say? Plus ten? Or oh, plus, minus you can 10? use plus twenty. So I. You add it to your oh. stat. Yeah. So make your roll and then and compare it to your stat plus uh, okay. one. Oh. Nope. Crap. <laughs> All right. Hundred on the nose. Right, so the guy, like, the guy like spins around. Really good though. The guy like turns. No. Uh, or is that ninety nine? That's. Well, so I think a 99 is always a critical failure. Actually, I thought one of them was critical failure and one of them was critical success. Like, yeah. no what. Yeah. Oh, actually, is 100 then a zero? I think yeah, 100 is a zero. I think 100 is a zero. Yeah. Possibly roll. Well, no, so it's, it's the like worst thing you can worst. roll, but you always succeed. 
the worst type of success, I guess. <laughs> All right. So like the uh, the guy like sharpening his knives like stops sharpening and like stares at you and he's like, "What are you doing over there?" Slapping shit with my tentacles. <laughs> Say, uh, look, why don't you just get back to uh, to business, you brute? Oh. <laughs> All right. He's like, he like nods and he like stabs the uh, the morph through like the uh, through the shoulder. Right as it's like looking around, and it's like, ah! and, like grabs its arm. So yeah, I'm not sure that's how you're supposed to be doing that. <laughs> Obviously, you seem to uh, to be very uh, unskilled at resleeving. I've seen it done, and this is this is it not it. Doesn't seem like that's what he's going for. <laughs> it's a lot easier to get the sleeves off if you take the arms off. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> as, as, as I was saying, guys, this this whole establishment seems unprofessional. We should just. <laughs> okay. All right. I haven't, I haven't seen an autoclave since we got here. I'm, I'm pretty sure those machetes aren't sterilized. <laughs> yeah, they don't look sterilized. <laughs> no. They look the opposite of sterilized. Okay. All right. I, um, I can. All right. So you, you guys leave. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. we take the break for the exit. Okay. Yeah. All right. You you step outside, uh, back into like the the bustle, hustle and bustle of the of Psychopomp. So um, as we like round the corner, I take a look at whatever it is I grabbed off the table. Okay, it's just uh, a small RF RFID tag, just like like a little tiny piece of paper. You can probably just scan it with your mesh inserts. All right, I scan it and share it up with the rest of the group. All right, so it um. It contains a location on Psychopomp, and it says, like, five minutes. It's like a room that's close close by. Can we make it there in five minutes? Yeah, yeah. You can make it there in less than five minutes. All right. Let's, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I say, uh, well, let's, um, I guess, let's see where this leads us, guys. Hopefully not to some crazed resleever with a machete who's a little confused about what resleeving is. <laughs> We've already, already done that. Fair enough. All right. So you guys going to go there? Yes. yes. Yeah. All right. So you have a minute or two before the uh, the time the time stated. Do you want to do anything or just just hang so, out? So uh, I mean, what, we want to like we, approach. Do we get to the location? Like, what is? The yeah. Location? So it's 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 a door. It just is a is a plain white room with uh with a table and and three chairs. Can I? Three chairs. Yeah. Okay. The chairs for a mirror. I mean, sorry. The tables for him here. Two of us does the um, does the RFID tag have any other information on it? No, no. It looks like it's just a simple message. Yeah. Right. Um, can we like scope out the room or or? Yeah. Yeah. What do you guys want to do? It seems like it's just a plain room. It's uh, it's carved out of the asteroid. It's got rock walls. Any anything that would indicate who this belongs to? It doesn't seem to be a room that anybody has claimed. Um, you can see as you look into the room, it doesn't look particularly structurally sound. It's probably why no one has claimed it. Uh, it's got like big cracks along the walls and like a uh, crack around the door frame. All right. Um, well, two of us, two of us have the ability to sit in chairs, right? So <laughs> there you go. Just take two of those and. Um... Leave the third for whoever might be joining us. Uh, I, I feel like we should sort of strategically place people in the room. Like, what's the what's the gravity situation? Is it still... uh, there, yeah, it's still no, still very little gravity. Do would we need? We would need like special equipment to not be floating around, or? Uh, yeah, you could just like. Um, I mean, the chairs are like magnetized to the ground. You could magnetize yourself to the chairs if you wanted to, if you had a the right. The right sort okay. of thing. Okay. The t um, the yeah. table also has like handles on it. You could like, you know, tether yourself if you wanted to. Yeah, I like sit and like, and I'll face the chair towards the door, the entrance. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna like stand by the door. Not... I, I I walk right in and sit down, but I'm I'm also kind of like, fingering my my railgun pistol, just nerd like a little twitchy twitchily. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, so a minute later, the, the secretary like walks in, 
and she like looks around um she like holds her like finger up to her lips um she like walks in she takes out uh some sort of like round device and like a uh, a puff of some kind of like substance like squirts out of the top of it at us or just to fill the air or um do we know what kind of device it is does it look like some kind of gas grenade or something no uh yeah. it's like a common thing yeah so um being members of firewall you would probably imagine that these are this is a nano swarm probably she's releasing into the air um whether it's oh, okay. to you know the variety of functions a nano swarm could could serve it could be to destroy other nanobots it could be to uh I mean, they're right, myriad functions. I put I put croak on like analyzing what her nano swarm might be doing as we converse or whatever may happen. Okay, sure. All right. Um, she also uh, she like walks to the center of the room and she puts uh, she like puts the device to the table, which like locks to it for a second, and uh, begins producing like white noise. Is um, she acknowledging us as being there? Like, yeah, yeah, like... yeah, yeah. She sees you, but she's like purposely not talking to you. She asked us to like be quiet. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm gonna like stare so how much the hallway. how much time has passed? Uh, about Zora, thirty seconds. Zora like stands up, like like she kind of like starts, like uh, like she's she's yeah. All right. Hey, hey, Amir, man, Amir, you there? Yeah, Croak, what's up? It's like, it's like a nano swarm that that eats nano swarms, man. It's it's, an, it's like an anti itself nano swarm. It is the opposite of itself, man. Which is like really fucking deep if you think about it. It's like, it's like what it eat what it isn't is what it is. Nice. I'm like all right, croak. Thanks. Um, sounds good. Okay. All right. So um, a minute later, she like she like she holds she's holding a device in her hand and um, she uses like a red light on it and then it like slowly turns green and then she like turns to you um, and she's like, "You're finally here. I th I thought you'd never arrive." Her eyes are like wide you with, told with us terror. Told here in five minutes. We beat you here. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, "No, where? Uh, you're from Firewall, right?" Her uh, eyes are like her eyes are like uh, it's like pleading. Yeah, are you uh, Maruti? She's like, I'm 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 Amaru Tamuti. <laughs> so wait, you're not a Muti. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Um, then. She's like, w listen, guys, there's no time for that. Uh, you've got to get me out of here. I got to get off the station. Um, there's stuff here that's going on. Like things are going are going south real quick. Uh, and. I didn't sign up for this, you know. Right. Is is there a way to verify her identity? Uh, n I mean, not you don't have you have all the information that I've given you. Or do you know do you know who uh, Kyoshi Katsuro is? She says, um, I think I've heard of him. He's one of the uh, he's one of the technicians in the station. Um, he works for Nizan, I think. He's uh. One of the Hogan. Can I send a uh, another uh, QE message to um, Piros? Say like, like found Marudi. How to verify? All right. Amar Tumoti. Whatever. Amaro. I, honestly, yeah. I'm, at this point, I thought I had the right name, but I, I'm pretty yes. sure I don't. Um. Yeah. Um. I mean, is is there nothing in firewall in general that would you know like the equivalent of like a secret handshake or or code sign that like one agent would give another to just be like, hey, it's me, I'm from firewall. Yeah, yeah, no. Um, I th think right. So, um, I guess I forgot to say this. When when the passphrase came through on your side, the answer was supposed to be, um, I don't know, like. Uh, they're better than they're bouncy, but not too bouncy. And so, like, she's like, oh, yeah, like the passphrase. Uh, yeah, uh, bouncer morphs. They're better when they're bouncy, but not too bouncy. 
It's a, um, all right, yeah, should check this out. It's an older code, sir. Older code, sir. <laughs> <laughs> um, wait, right. so what? Fair enough. Look, we'll get you off, but, um, off them. But what is it that's going on? What's the rush? You seem like you're doing all right. She says, um, listen, uh, I worked down at the receiving clinic. Normally, it's a pretty easy job. Uh, every once in a while, Firewall gets one of their agents captured, and I have to just make his ego disappear so that, uh, you know, nothing gets out. Normally, Firewall's age, or, uh, interest in nine lives is pretty tame. But um, the last few weeks, I've sleeved uh, a, over a dozen egos messed up. And I, listen... You know Nine Lives, they, they specialize in taking people's egos and turning them into whatever they want, but they've got yeah. something new, uh, something that works in a matter of minutes uh, with effects that I've never even seen before. Uh, super effective. I, I've never seen anything like it. Effective at, at what? Well, she, um, she says, like, well, I'll... I, I, I brought this, and she like uh, drops the stack onto the table. Does it look? Is it like it's like a clean stack or freshly ripped from? Yeah, it's, no, it's or? it's a clean stack. Okay. I say on the little yeah, um, on our little like private mesh, say uh, maybe maybe this is the X threat that uh, Pyrrhus was um, was warning us about. Whenever something to, is a. Uh, a little too good to be true sometimes. It's uh, some rampant AI. It says, listen, uh, Nizan, the, uh, or uh, Nizan's second in command, Elagua, has been down to this receiving clinic three times in the past two weeks. That is unheard of. He's almost never seen in the station. And each time he's pulled away uh, several, several people, sleeved, that were, seemed fanatically loyal to him. Um, I don't know what it is that's doing this, but it's whatever it is. It's powerful. Well, if it uh, if it poses a threat to firewall, maybe we uh, we owe it to ourselves and our employers to uh, to look in it, into it a little deeper. She's like, I don't think you guys understand. If this thing, this is the kind of tech that could reprogram a person in seconds. Okay. Look, I understand your concern but uh efficiency but it seems like it's, really... in, it's in the wrong hands here so uh we came all this way she's like yeah now how are you guys gonna get me out of here i'm well, taking a big risk seeing you already well what's keeping her here like what like let's just go all right we got a yeah, i mean i have no way off this off the station uh I, I, do. people they don't just let people leave what? We have a ship. We can leave. Uh, not really. Have you guys tried to disembark? No, not yet. But I'm sure. <laughs> look, we have we have we have the we have the, we have the parking. We stuff. haven't gotten any distress signals from the ship, so we Wait, assume it's fine. Gavin, you but, have the you have the parking ticket, right? Like we just need to put that in the machine, and then we, we did get a message from like the technician that he wants to speak with us. Yeah, maybe and we just kind of ignored it. Help us get out of here, real easy. Oh yeah, that's it. Okay. Like, is it like? Can we like quickly check in on the ship? Has it been like disassembled for scrap or something like that? <laughs> the ship, oh, the, the ship is fine. Its docking clamps are in engaged. Yeah. All right. Wonderful. At least the docking clamps are still there, guys. That's, that's all that's left. Is just the docking. Just the clamps. <laughs> Nothing but clamps. Um, okay, so look, why don't we go meet with our technician potential friend? Do we, we, uh, I should, we show her the letter, or I show her the letter and see if that seal looks familiar to her at all. She's like, uh, no, but um, do you guys not want the stack? Well, I mean, is this the best place to start delving into a stack right now? So what's on here? She says, uh, I... I secretly forked one of the egos that uh, that they were having me sleeve down here. 
It's not pretty. All right, yeah, so whatever. Let's, I take, guess let's take a look. The, well, we're in a protected area. The room is secured. Right? We might as well take it, take advantage of it. We got a few exactly. minutes. All right, Amir has a uh, has a slot on him. You can uh, you can plug it in there. <laughs> All right, we hook it up to Amir. All right. All right. Uh, can I like can I like stay out of the mesh? Sure. Yeah. That's possible. Are we going into your mesh though? Is it a big web? Yeah. So I mean, it's the, you can you can instantiate the the stack in a uh, simul space if you want. Sorry, yeah, sorry. yeah I, I'll like load it up for them, and I'll be like, "Here's the, uh, you know, get on in there." I'll like pop a little sub room into our mesh. All right. Um, so the the simple space starts up, and uh, you see uh, a man standing in front of you, and he looks very calm. His his arms are at his sides, uh, and he's got like the barest hint of a smile on his face. Say, uh, hey there, buddy. He says, uh, are you Lindsay? Where's Lindsay? Who is, uh, who's Lindsay? You, you don't know Lindsay? Are you, are you from the company? Uh, I'm from a company. <laughs> he, he, um, he just nods and then like, like stares off into the distance. Say, so, um, hey, 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 Lin hey. Lindsay might be here soon. He says, oh, that's very good news. Let me know when she gets here. All right. What is it you need to talk to her about? He says, uh, no, no, no. I'm afraid it's company business. I say, um, yes, of, of course, of course. Um, why don't you just go wait in the next room? He, um... And, uh, like, can we make the... the Next room of the simul space looked like some kind of like typical like corporate office like conference room. He says, uh, "I'm quite sure I was told to stay here. I'm not breaking orders for you." <laughs> All right, I, I pull you guys aside. I'm like, I think, I think one of us has to be Lindsay. <laughs> <laughs> there. All right. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you for volunteering, Zora. Ugh. All right. Um, uh, so I go back over to him and I'm like, wait, did, did he give us a name yet or no? No. For him? I don't think so. Yeah. No. no. I, was, I say, hey, buddy. Uh, I'm sorry. Did you How say you know Lin my name? Did you say Lindsay? I thought you said Lounsey. Uh No, I'm Lindsay. He says, "Oh my God, you're finally here!" It was like you can see his um, his like, all of his mannerisms like tense up. He's like, uh. Okay. I look what, back what? and I'm like, thumbs up to the, to the guy. He's like, <laughs> He's like, what is it that you need? He can uh, like barely contain his excitement. Um, well, you know, uh, what, what do you got? What are you offering? What, what, uh, we, need, we need it all. He's I like, need every, everything you got. Yeah. Uh, he like, um, he like, he's like overwhelmed. He starts like, uh, like shaking. You can see like tears like streaming down his eyes. He's like, well, I can. Uh, what do you want? I can sing. What, what I can. What? What? Just tell me what you. What you need. I. Okay. Um. I, I kind of like. Uh. So Zora kind of goes to calm him down, and, and she kind of like. But she's like really bad at like anything interpersonal and, and emotional. So she's kind of like. All right, I, I come over. And and he's like, just, just, just calm down there, buddy. I come over and, and hand Zora like a. Like a, uh, I don't know what people use to like fill out forms nowadays, whether it's like a tablet or something like that. Sure. Say, uh, here's here's the uh, here's all the information we need, uh, Lindsay. Why don't you have him fill this out? Oh, I'll just uh, do like, sure. Be uh, like a data tab, data pad thing with like a job interview like form on it or something like that. Hey, Mister, and I kind of like pause, like seeing if he'll fill in a name. Oh, uh, my name is Nosh, Lindsay. Uh, Hey, Mr. Nosh, uh, here, can you please uh, fill out these forms for us? Uh, he says, oh, I would, yes, of course I will do that. Uh, uh, what do these forms say on them? So it'll just be like, it'll be like your stereotypical, like, um, like basic, uh, I don't know, resume type information, like name, address, date of birth, 
gender. <laughs> he I starts like looking down and he's like um, experience. He's like, uh, uh, I, I don't. Uh, Current company work. I, I, I don't know. Uh, you know, you know. Uh, can, can can't you look it up in the in the in the company records? I I'm sure I'm a, in the Cognite database. Uh, you you must know. Why don't why don't I know? You, what was that? Tell what me. Was that, what was the name that he said? Where the Cognite. Word? Cognite is it? That's probably the company name. Or? He starts becoming like very visibly agitated. He's like, yeah. you you know you know me, uh, right? I uh, what what I you know what what I what I know. So just why don't you tell me what these answers are, Lindsay? Can, help me. Okay. Um. So. Is is uh oh Jesus Christ uh, um okay Mr Nash uh you know what uh we'll we'll take care of the forms for you you, oh. you just sit here oh, and thank we're gonna, you Lindsay uh, Lindsay is there anything I can do to to repay you please I yes. uh you, right now the best thing that you could do Mr Nash is to just relax and 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 uh wait here while we process the forms he says yeah of course I I live for you that's yes. who I am and and also with you Mr Nash. All right, so this is one of the. Oh, when we step aside, I'm like, yeah, this guy's pretty broken. Yeah. I think we need to figure out. Wait, so do we know the company Cognite? Uh, yeah, Cognite is a uh, like megacorp. Well, do they do they do we know like what do they they do everything or do they do something in particular? They do a lot of stuff. They do a lot of stuff. Well, like every megacorp, they have divisions for basically everything. Um. They have a lot to do with like um, with ego research and stuff like that. But see, so, yeah, cognite those bastards. Um, <laughs> either way, I guess I guess this poor sap doesn't deserve whatever somebody did to him, even even if it is one of them. Either way, maybe if we can. Can you guys still hear me and stuff? Yeah, 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 yeah. Really, oh, just listen. Oh, sorry. Uh, I just got like a message that there's some connection issue from um, Roll20. But uh, but if everything's fine, then everything's fine. Uh, all right. So, yeah, I kind of say like uh, if we can maybe um, – obviously, I, I don't know if this Lindsay person is real or just something somebody's programmed him to spill the beans to. Um, but it might help if we – well, I don't know if it – we need to know. Certainly, it, this proves that something shady is going on. Um, but maybe they're trying to find out something particular, or uh, as uh, it looks like at this point, they can get whatever they want. Can we? Can we? Can we agree to get rid of this guy? Put him out of his misery. Well, I mean, so so what, or when, when a stack is is unplugged, is it just kind of in a moment of stasis? Does it not? Yeah, is it, it's not instantiated. Yeah, so we don't need to. We can just unplug him. Well, we might right, want to just to... bring him back, give him to Pyrrhus. Maybe they can fix him. Maybe about... they can find out what it is. Um, well, what what it is the nine lives are trying to do here? Well, I want to see. Well, hold on, hold on. I want to see how far, how, how bad this is, right? I just like turn. Like we're still yeah. there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. turn around and go up to the guy, and I say, uh, "I'm sorry, what's his name again?" Kev? Mr. Nash. Mr. Nash. Nash. Yeah. I say, Mr. Nash, um, I'm Lindsay. He, like, looks, like, back at, uh, at Zora, and, like, his eyes, like, just, like, go totally wide. And he's no, like, I give him the, I give him the okay. Yeah. He's like, yeah, oh, okay, okay. What, is there anything that I could do for you? He says, yes, uh, within 30 seconds... Uh, if I don't stop you, I need you to kill yourself, okay? Oh. Right. He like he like, his hands his hands like shoot up to his neck, and like you can see like his knuckles tighten white as uh, as they like close around his windpipe. All right, I like count to like five seconds, and then I'd be like, okay, you could stop. All right, he's like he's like uh, if he wasn't in an, an infomorph, he would have already passed out. <laughs> he like stops and like smiles at you. He's like, did I, I say, do a good I job? Say, hey, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Nash. You did a fantastic job. They seem to have these guys. They seem to have wiped like most of his personal information. But uh, hey, Mr. Nash, uh, can you just rattle off your bank account number for us? He says, "Uh, uh, it's the 
uh, I'm how sure about, you know about it. Did you? How about how about uh, some Cognite security access codes? He says, yeah, I'm sure that I could try and find them for you. And like you can see, he's like it's like breathing is like becoming like quickened. So what? Um, so he's uh, a, So I go back to the like. So what? What are the? What, what's the point of controlling somebody a, if they can't access like, the What his skills are? <laughs> Either suicide bomber or, as he said, he's more than willing to go get them, right? Yeah, like so if he shows up. Okay, so he's not. He doesn't have any information on him, but he's just. You can tell him. You can tell him to go in there, plug some militias into whatever cognite machine, and then like jump off the. And like, the yeah, window. no way to track him down after that. All right. Well, that is pretty scary stuff. I'm not gonna lie. All right. I, Go, Zazor. Go ask him what his uh, what his specialty is here at Cognite. Yeah, M M Mr. Nash. What what is it that you do? What are, what what are the best services that you could provide for us? He says, "Well, I can do anything. Um, my specialty is Lindsay, and whatever she needs me to do." And he so like looks guy's... very like happy about it. Wow. So this guy's just a completely blank. Imagine making, you know, a couple of thousand of these. Or a million. Or a billion. Why well, stop at a couple of thousand? Well, what makes this better than, like, you know, a robot? You know? Or or just, like, making what? a, um, making, like, a, you know, a copy of yourself that's designed to just listen to what you say. Yeah, like, like sending your own fork to go do a suicide mission. Right. Doesn't... Like, I'm not sure. So, um, I... Um, I want to send my muse off to see whether there's any part of like Cognite's public records that mention a Mr. Nash of any kind. I wonder, uh, yeah. if, I wonder if he's somebody important. Like maybe he's like a vice president or something like that. Uh, yeah, Mr. Nash is just a regular Cognite employee, from what you can tell. Does it mention like what department he works in? What? Um, yeah, like he's whether a, he's a psychosurgeon. Psychosurgeon, eh? Can we ask him to remember his memories? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. No, I'm, I'm... Head will explode. I mean, it just seems odd to go through all of this trouble just to get a willing body. But he's right? a psychosurgeon, right? I mean, this, that's what these guys are, are into. If they, need, if they needed guys who can do their dirty work for them, maybe the average... Uh, I mean, so far, the, uh, the nine lives guys we've run into aren't exactly... or haven't exactly been uh, geniuses. Uh, and this does take uh, just at least minimal cognitive ability. Uh, maybe so you, you run off, you get one of Cognite's expert surgeons, you turn him into this mumbling idiot, except for the fact that I'm sure he's still brilliant at cognitive surgery, if that's what you ask him to do. Yeah. Can we ask him to do a faux cognitive surgery? Can we, probably. Like, you could probably just instantiate some body and tell him to operate on it. I'm sure he will do it. I mean, could, yeah, just ask him some basic like tech questions of the field and see if he can answer them. Yeah, let's let's go with that, Kevin. Yeah, like Kevin. Okay, yeah. Uh, make a psycho surgery check. Uh, psycho. <laughs> I mean, like, 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 can we just ask him to explain, like, what's what's the the first four steps in any psychosurgery? Oh, something? he like, like he, he like rattles them off like quicker than you can like really catch. Exactly. Okay. So like, this is the with first like, time with like perfect confidence. Okay. So he's that's it. Like they're they're retaining him for like whatever skills he has. So he they might have like that's what uh, that lady was saying that. You know, they bring him in, and in minutes they become their essentially their slaves with the skill set that they've learned. Right. I mean, like, yeah, because like up till now, their their whole business has been just torturing information out of people and, and getting them to do things out of force. But if you have willing people, that that, that solves your whole middle problem. All right. Let's uh, let's leave Mr. Nash to his devices unless we have anything else to. Yeah, that's fine. Can we get this guy to do a second surgery on Voth? Uh, yeah, you probably could. 
because remember it said it would take some hours of psychosurgery for us to get his memories, and the guy was kind of an asshole. Oh, to pull Voth in here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure, why not? Is that really what we uh, want to do, though? Well, can, that, go, can that just be happening in the background while we go do our other stuff? I mean, <laughs> but what do we need? Running. What do we what do we need to do psychosurgery on Voth for? Don't just want to do it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> they're never gonna let you in the gang unless you're, uh, you know. I say, why don't um, we? Why don't we? Why don't we leave some of the the undesirable things until we uh, absolutely must, right? Well, let's. Uh, so let yeah, this this is scary. Let's see if we but can. Let's, uh, let's hold on to this. If if nothing else, we should definitely bring him back to Pyros and show him what's being done here. But uh, I still I still think we need to we need to try to figure out how they're doing this, especially if they're able to do it in, in seconds. I said uh, I'm sure you could uh, over as Voth says right, they have their torture experts, but um, but if they can just grab some guy off the street and turn him into a mindless slave in seconds, then that's kind of terrifying, right? Yeah. So let's make sure we don't get a. Yeah. Let's. Yeah. Okay. Keep your stacks inside your necks. Yeah. Let's do that. Keep your stacks in your backs. Let's go. There you go. All right. Um, so you you hop out of simple space and uh, Amaru's like standing there, like looking looking like back and forth. So yeah, that's that's pretty messed up. She says, um, I've "Been sleeping dozens of them over the past weeks, uh, and they've just been leading them off into the station. I'm not really sure what they're doing with them." Is it mostly like psychosurgeons, or does it take all types? She says uh, it's hard to tell just from just from sleeving them, but um, it's it's you know a variety, a lot of combat morphs. When when did it start? She says, uh, "Well, I." I uh, a quick and dirty way. I know. I know they've been doing this to people for some time. I like. But... I like. I like uh, just quickly send a message through Mesh. Like, uh, uh, any chance that she's also been like wiped and reprogrammed? Question mark. Unhappy face. I mean, there's she a seemed, chance. She seemed pretty concerned with. Uh... Like, yeah, but like, if we go back in and tell the dude to like act like he's, yeah, I don't no, know, I know, I know like he's saying. like a copy of me, you know, like he yeah, will. Yeah, yeah. Um, He'll try, but I mean, he seemed like he seemed like like what they did to him was like strip him down to the bare essentials, right? Not necessarily make him into like a perfect uh, covert agent. Yeah, but Gavin, like, it's like if if they told him to be a perfect covert agent. Would he be able to? Or, or that's maybe, the question. Yeah. Th here's the thing, uh, uh, Ellis, is that like, if he didn't have those skills, would he be able to do it? And and does right, uh, does skills. does Timothy have those skills to pull out? Well, well, okay, but like the well, other she thing is an undercover is, agent, so. Yeah. <laughs> well, the other the thing only is, thing is you need if it be a double agent, is to know how to be a single agent. If it takes them minutes to strip him down and leave that in there, how you know what? What can an hour or two or three or a day do with a, you know, with a but, stack? But it doesn't. It doesn't really matter. Like we've got to get her and probably this other guy back to. Yeah, we probably don't have the. Ability. No, no, I, I totally agree. I'm just saying, you know, just keep that. Maybe that's just something for everybody to keep in mind while yeah. we're. No, I'm like just standing saying, there like, like this in the room. I think that's a I, fair point. I share your concerns, or uh, um. And I think I think we should probably be careful, but at the same time, what's the point of coming all the way here, finding something like this, and not trying to do something about it? Yeah, let's do it. I mean, we, we we're just proceeding with caution. We we just can't take everything she says at, at her word exactly. Agreed. You know, but right now we don't have any reason to doubt her. Yeah. Okay. All right, so um, so uh, I ask her: Is does this does this usually just happen down at that um, receiving bay twelve? Or uh... she says, uh, I think it's been happening at all the receiving bay at all the receiving bays. How many so, are there? Uh, there's twenty four. And who's the who's the guy that usually comes and picks them up? 
uh, his name is Elagua. But um, I've never even seen him before. He came down a few weeks ago to escort uh, Lam Kong Lam Kong Lam Kong Dong after she forecasted the station. She's uh, she's kind of a higher up. Okay. In the Nine so Lives? It, Ellie Gura is like a like so, a lieutenant in the Nine Lives or something like that. She says, I don't know what Elagui is. Um, he's like the second in command to... to. Um... I'll be right back, but I gotta wash my face. Alright. What's his name? To Nazan. Nazan's second in command is Elagua, but hardly anybody ever sees him around the station. Uh, right. Lam Kong Dong is the leader of the Rada Nanshan, and uh, it was not too far after she forecast over here that all this weird stuff started happening. And what was that group? Uh, Wait, Lam Kong, Lam Kong Dong is the leader of who? The Rada Nanshan. And what is that? Oh, uh, it's uh, about a group that comprises about a quarter of nine lives okay, maybe so maybe a third there's like sub gangs in this game she says yeah yeah there are there are three three divisions there's the rata the um uh, let me uh the 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 rata the gade and the petro and what's the point of having what's the, what's the point of having three three separate like three separate divisions? All right, she's like, you guys didn't do any research before you came here, did you? No, we were coming to save your ass. She's like, all right, well, they handle different aspects of the business. Uh, the Rada are more or less um, the regular rank and file of of nine lives. Okay. Um, the Ged. The soldiers? Well, no. They operate at receiving clinics. They run scams. You know, foot uh, foot people. The Ged are are the people you don't want to mess with. They're probably the most the most numerous, but they are vicious and insane and deeply religious. And then the Petro are. Uh, a fraction of, of nine lives. They're the corporate facing side of, of the gang. Okay. They do business with, with the various hypercorps. Okay. Is that So do do you know where this guy I point at the the stack with Nash on it. Do you know where he was going? Um well once his ego was sleeved, it was escorted by um, what's his name? Uh, Long Dukang. Uh, Eligura. No, if by Eligura back to um, back to Peristyle, where Nazan's headquarters are. Oh, okay. Okay. Can we message our people back home and be like, just like, try to explain the situation to them? Yeah, but how do you do that over QE? Sit bad. <laughs> it's shitty. Send help. <laughs> um, no, like, say, like, there's a, you know, I don't even know. Um... I mean, I don't think we need to. I think we need to like get out of here. No. So, what are the chances of this this uh, the technician guy being defecting from the 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 secretary? No, no, the the, the guy that we were told to meet. Kyoshi. Yeah. I mean, what, I think. What are the we chances of that being be beneficial? I don't think there's much chance it's official at all. We should probably go meet him and see what he has to say and then, like, make our way out of here. Well, so, uh, what are the chances yeah. that it's going to be? It's a few more happen. things. So what what usually happens to people when they up and leave, Maru? She says, um, well, they're not going to let you leave unless uh, they think it's in their best interest. 
And seeing as you guys have still have stacks in your necks, unless you have some show of force, it probably won't be cleared. We showed some force already. <laughs> yeah. She says, uh, but I mean, you guys, you guys are just gonna leave? Like, this thing could really get out of hand. No, no, no that's what I'm saying. Yeah, let's... what we gotta figure out is is how how do we Wait contain a minute. it? She was just the one that was saying that we have to go right away. Yeah, she, get me out yeah, of here. she wants to leave. Well, you're not leaving without us. She says, like, I haven't had a backup in months. You, you can't just leave me here. I'm gonna get overwritten and and that'll be it. Like, come on. No, no. Well, what do you want us to do? With us. Do you think we have a flotilla of, of ships? Wait, don't we? Don't we have that, uh... No, we just have one backup oh. ship full of, like... I wouldn't call it a flotilla. <laughs> so we do have, uh, we do have an, an extraction plan, but, uh, but I think we need to, uh... I, I don't think we're gonna get very many shots at it, and certainly we can't ship you out and then, uh... stick around here and try to figure this out. I think we need to do it all in one fell swoop. Yeah. She Sorry, like Murray, looks around. She's like, "All right, well, uh, do you have any other questions? Because I gotta get back. Otherwise, it's gonna start looking suspicious. And uh, don't contact me again." How are we ready to go? Oh, okay, I was like, "How do we? <laughs> how do we retrieve you?" Um, yeah, if we can't contact. Sorry, there was there was one other question I was gonna ask. Uh, what was it? I'll totally forget now. Oh, uh, excuse me. Uh, if, um, like when, so you, you've been here since before they started to do this super quick, um, brainwashing thing, right? He says, yeah, yeah. I've been almost here almost a year. And how long ago was it they started? Oh, I don't know. Uh, two weeks ago. Did they bring in somebody new? What do you mean? Like well, any, any new technician, any change in a new device and he was there anything that that stood out two weeks ago that uh she says like i said uh the only thing that stood out was that lamb kong don arrived in the station uh a few days after that uh bertrand theo the leader of the petro nanchan arrived uh and he was also as i hear escorted by uh elagua is it like a massive uh coup all right Thanks. We can, she can go. That's fine. Massive fight for power within the nine lives. Well, says, uh, and mean, there's it's... also that there's also that ID crew guy holed up on the docks. I don't know what that's all about, but I'm sure it's involved in all of this. Hmm. What guy? Those dudes in the uniforms. Oh. Well, no, that's. I mean, that might be. Is it the um, defector guy? So, what do you guys want to do? Um, well, we can go. So, can I have? Um, I'm gonna have Chippy go search for any kind of. Um, Titan tech that that might be able to do what it is they're describing here, like reprogram people in seconds. Well, I mean, Titan tech is uh, loosely analogous with like magic, right? Like, Titan tech is is something that like is so far beyond what transhumanity has that like it could basically, I mean, not do anything, but like you wouldn't be surprised hardly at anything that it could do. All right, can I? Have Chippy search for anything that's not Titan Tech that could do this then to I guess <laughs> rule rule out what other thing non other magic. magic. Chippy, are you I mean I I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, I'm, don't I need Ellis, some feedback from you, Kevin? <laughs> Ellis, Ellis, Ellis might be right, like uh, that there's some kind of coop, that, but that doesn't mean that uh, that these um, gang leaders are uh, are themselves right. Who's to say that they haven't been reprogrammed? It might be some vicious virus that showed Maybe up. Maybe you're reprogrammed. Would... Can't trust anybody. <laughs> Keep it together, Alice. <laughs> um, was it? Maybe it's it's like some vicious virus, right? Like, 
they they got to one of them from like wherever they hang out, shows up here, starts uh, reprogramming people to to form a little psychosurgery army, and the next thing you know, like everybody's being run by like whoever did this in the first place. Gavin, 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 Gavin. All right, all right, all right. Listen, listen. Here, I got something for you. All right, I have good news and I have bad news. Which do you want first? Good news. All right, the good news is that this is some extremely hyper advanced technology. The bad news is I don't know anything about it. So, the bad news is this is some great. extremely advanced hyper technology. <laughs> Thank, thanks, Chippy. I guess I could have figured that out myself, but your services are valuable. Of value, as always. Yes. Keep it up. <laughs> All right. All right, so she's like, uh, all right, well, unless you guys have any questions, like, I really got to get back. Uh, if they if they suspect me, it's, it's going to be real bad. I mean, yeah, that's fine. kind of funny. All right, she, like, grabs, like, the white noise machine off the table and, um, and like, like peeks out of the room and then, like, hurries out. See, so, um... Right, folks, what do we do now? Well, as she said, maybe, um... Maybe that guy Kyo- Kiyoshi okay. knows something, but I think we should be aware of anybody who might have been reprogrammed in a similar way as the uh, unfortunate Mr. Nash. Um, I guess, did she leave behind the stack? Yeah, she leaves the stack with you. All right. Um, I said we should definitely hold on to this. Um, but um, but if they can do that to, to just about anybody, then... Uh, then they could so. probably do more to if they have more time, right? That's that that's the fear. That's what I fear. Well, like, what more would you want to do? The guy was about to choke himself. <laughs> you told him to. <laughs> there was no. Like, this guy's pretty. How much? How much farther is there to go? <laughs> <laughs> there was no about to about it. I mean, because I mean, he definitely is a little bit a. Uh, I don't know, insane, or I assume his character isn't, his real character isn't the way it's portrayed in that stack. What if there's a way to get him to do what you want while maintaining, like, a portion of that character, right? I don't know, just... No, that's just fine. About it. I, I agree, like, whatever they're doing is pretty gnarly, Second. right? And now uh, I'm all for trying to put a stop to it. Um, but we should be on the lookout. I just, uh, I don't know. I don't know what the best way forward is. I guess we could go try to see the guy Kyoshi. Maybe we get lucky and he uh, he's fed up with it too. I'm seeing some sick shit, but I mean, yeah. if he's a nine lives technician, then obviously he's not a little angel. <laughs> yeah, let's go see him. Right. Um, let's see if we can pull some current footage from Parastyle and and make sure the uh, nothing nothing crazy looks like it's going on over there. Okay. All right. So um, your access from Peristyle is cut off, but you can see from the uh, from the like the the cameras you do have outside the door that um, it's they're like armed guards standing in front of it. Oh wait, we can't see into Peristyle now. No, you you never could. It's, That's where the guy is. Have That's where. Oh, I thought it was the other way around. Can I try to hack my way in to get access? Does it work like that? Uh, sure. Um, you Chippy or you Ellis? Ellis. Chip doesn't have any free will. What's the matter with you? Sure. Uh, it's not called hacking. What is it? Um, security? Slicing? Slicing Programming? Stores. No. Uh, there's another one. Infiltration? No. Uh, infosec? Yeah, infosec. Computer security? Infosec. Info. So 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 interfacing. No infosec. Interfacing. Well, Inf- infosec. Infosec. So scrounging. <laughs> I see. Nick's just saying things that he has. How do I have like everything computer related except that one? You Bullshit. That. You're just you're just not very. I good. don't see it. You should have infosec. Nah. I don't. I have interfacing though. I don't have infosec. Oh, I do. Shit, I do. It's it's. <laughs> he just had to decrypt it. 
Listen, there's like <laughs> ten skills that start with I. Okay. Wait, wait, wait guys. Ellis, choke yourself. <laughs> Have you been white? They got to. Oh no, he's been white. They got to. All right, yeah. I'll I'll info sec. Let's see it. Oh. Not a critical failure. Just thought I'd throw that one out there. <laughs> All right. So good, um, good almost, news and bad news, guys. <laughs> so uh, the mesh seems like pretty low security. Uh, so you sort of like you know sort of like slip on, but almost immediately you're spotted by um, some kind of you know security infomorph, and your account is flagged, and um, yeah. Balls. No, 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 we were just we were just trying to look at porn. Nothing, nothing going on here. Yeah. Hmm. Just say so we uh, might have to just go over them, guys. Uh, yeah, and yeah. Uh, an alert goes out to your location. Oh man, all right, we gotta move. Yeah, yeah let's, yo, let's not be in we'll this anymore. <laughs> all right, so let's just start walking towards um, Paris, Paris style. style. Yeah. Okay, sure. Um, Can we take like a segue? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that wouldn't be walking. All right. Um, so it doesn't take you guys that long to reach. Know. I just kind of glide through the uh, yeah. station like an octopus. Right. Um, so Peristyle is also um, that, uh, hollowed out of the of the asteroid. Uh, it doesn't take you that long to reach it, but uh, as you as you near the piece of it that is you know that separates Peristyle from the rest of it, uh, there's a big like um, airlock door with uh, with two like combat morphs standing in front of it. Hello. Um, perhaps we shouldn't just walk over there. I whisper at Amir as he walks over there. Oh, Amir's like, uh, <laughs> as he I, just well, says I hello to I wasn't, I wasn't talking to you. Uh, 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 goodbye. <laughs> Talk to my grandmother on the phone. Yeah, yeah I'm, on, I'm on mesh with, <laughs> with Granny. Granny, can you hear me? Um. Is there any way to get in, you know, not past those guys through that door? Can I, can I like, try to find alternate means of egress? Um, ingress? Sure. Uh, make, a, make an interfacing check. Sure. Interfacing. All right. Um, not gonna cut it for interfacing uh okay well you f the only thing that you can find is that the um so apparently this this door leads to a ramp which uh goes out to a, a station which is like attached to legba but it is it is rotating and uh that station which is which constitutes uh peristyle has some emergency um like doors on it on the like surface of the station, that's all you can find. Hmm. All right. Well. So this. What is, is, is like? Peristyle on the map thing? Uh, yeah. yeah, it's number two. two, but it's also I believe it's like it's on the bottom left. So. Oh, okay. It just looks like the whole bottom left section of the map, kind of. Yeah, it's a Taurus tin can hybrid attached to Legba's exterior. It's it spun for gravity. Oh, so there's gravity inside Peristyle? Yeah. Blame. All right, so why um, don't we just, like, say we have business in Peristyle? It's a tourist spot, I mean. No, I don't think it, it's currently a tourist spot. <laughs> well, you don't know. It's, why, it's don't, it. why don't you ask them, and then I'll go down and see if they'll receive you once they, like... Yeah, just, what, just tell them you're the, on vacation. Tear your the, little spidey legs off of you. Definitely not on vacation. I don't know. That doesn't make sense. What, are the, what do those guys look like? Uh, they, can we get a good read on... Yeah, so... just like two kind of door guards? Type? So they're, they're in Fury Morphs, which are like enhanced humanoids. Um, uh -huh. They seem to have like, you know, armor and weapons. and so They're like we... pretty pretty jazzed out. Are they looking pretty vigilant? Are they like like kind of? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they seem to be standing at attention. Hmm. All right, I say we go tell them that we have like business in Peristyle. Well, we do technically, right? Exactly. 
Wait, what yeah, are you lying? But when they ask what business is it, then I don't think we should just say, "Oh, you know, we're looking for this guy who sent us a note." We just want to like no, find out what kind of like, we've been ill shit down. you're up to, and then leave the station. Oh, we've been like <laughs> sent down to meet with some of the engineers inside or something like that. Uh, I just don't know if I want to tell some like grunt that we're going to see Kyoshi. I mean, just between just between Gavin and Amir, like we have them beat on a limbs basis by a lot. <laughs> yeah, this is a I have them beat limbs ratio by myself. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I guess we both have eight legs, right? So, like, yeah, snap my beak. <laughs> you have eight legs. He has eight arms. Yeah. Um, yeah. Between us, I have two arms. It's like eight That's... full sets of appendages. But wait, like so. I don't know, but a beer is supposed to be the fighty one. I don't know. I'm a tank. So I'm yes, like, you said that. I'm just saying, when once those guys decide that like we're right. full of shit and they're just gonna tear our uh, stacks out and uh, leave us in the side of the well, that only the happens walkway if we here. Suck at talking. Okay, so I'm gonna so okay, Zora's gonna use her chameleon suit to blend in and piggyback on a mirror. Okay. Looking, looking like part of his spider back. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Oh no, I look fat. Yeah, this makes it. Yeah, uh, Zora makes her butt look big. Mirror. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, that's fine. Yeah, you can do that. I just want to, for the the record, say that this is a bad idea. Well, there's there's two dudes here. We can take them. It's fine. I it's I wipe right. that record from my mesh. <laughs> Unwipable. And, I, and I, I like badly paste into the record it's like Gavin thinks the, this is a great idea. It's in the cloud now. <laughs> Alright, fine. Fine. Um I right, we walk up to the guards, say, um Move out of the way. Alright. You well, like I mean, that's not a good way to approach it. Yeah, he, like looks right. at you, he's like What the fuck are you? Say uh I have uh, I have business uh, in Peristyle. I have no uh, I have no time to wait for uh, a couple questions. of grunts. I have business at the business factory. All right. Um, he like looks down at his arm. He's like, business with who? Um, People from your organization. Say, uh, I need to speak with um, Kyoshi like Katsuro. Oh, I was gonna say I was just gonna make up some name. Um, uh, just switch the the first yeah, wait, exactly first letters wait, wait, of his wait, first and last name. Doc Yoshi. <laughs> um, yeah, sure. Like, uh, yeah, I need to see like uh, An Young. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh, All right. He's like. Uh, <laughs> it's ten years ago. <laughs> <laughs> he like pushes you away away with one hand. He's like, um, he's like, don't bother, like, don't waste my time unless you wanna you wanna lose your stack. Um. All right, but like, don't don't you waste our time unless you wanna lose lose your stack. Cause, like we gotta get in there. <laughs> nice, good one, good one, Amir. Yeah. Do you want do you want to make an intimidation check? Solid stuff. Oh yeah. At, sure. at, I like a I like a minus thirty. What minus thirty? I got all these He's guns fair. and arms. Shit. Arms, guns and arms. Yeah, guns and arms. There's also like a metal bulkhead behind him. So. Okay. Are you Just saying, Amir. I don't. I don't know, I don't know if. Bulkhead? No, I mean like, like the I door. Mean, we can just give up and go home. If we're not going to go to Paris. I don't really want to be on the list for, like, going to see Kyoshi Katsuro. Uh, Let's just go home. Alright. Alright. I think I mean, we need to be a little like more... Came... A little more sophisticated than this, Amir. You can't just, like, blow up your way through everything. Some it's kind of true, spider. Can't. Don't do that. Mister, we'll just ask him to let us by. You should just tell him, tell them why we're here. I mean, why are we here, Zora? (laughs) 
Like, Great, thank you. We have we've been invited. We should just use our invite. I roll. That's real wax on it. Invitation. All right. Yeah. You want to do that? We can do that. Give me the give me the the piece of paper thing. I, right. I kind of throw it. I kind of let it fall to the ground. Well, because I'm still writing Amir's right. back. <laughs> I, uh, I like a piece of paper wafts I down. I smoothly suction cup it up uh, with one of my tentacles, <laughs> and I say, uh, I, I like wave it in front of the the brute. I'm like, uh, look, uh, I've been invited. We're uh, people expecting us, and they're not gonna be happy about this delay. All right. Um... Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you roll? What would it be? Whatever it is, I'm not gonna be good at it. No. Um. Not diplomacy, but. Uh... I have persuasion. Persuasion. Yeah. You could take a plus thirty. Really. I mean, you, you do, do have, have a rotation. <laughs> there you go. Um... Critical. All right. He's like, oh, I'm. I'm sorry. Uh, right away. <laughs> I won't mention like, this to anybody. He, 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 like, so looks... you don't get in trouble because I'm nice. All right. Um, he um, he like sort of like bows his head and like pulls like a stack out of his out of his pocket and says like uh, my apologies. Like, please. That's like the currency over there. Jesus. I, I grab it. I'm like, yeah, yeah. We'll just forget about this. Well, at this rate, we're gonna become like stack salespeople. <laughs> With the rest of our stacks. <laughs> so throw it in the same. stack of stacks. Yeah, we we have like a giant pile that we carry around with us. Yeah, we're gonna open up stacks Fifth Avenue. And I, I quickly <laughs> like I like usher everybody through the door. I guess. Okay, so inside uh, Peristyle is uh, well, let me uh, just scroll over to it. No. Yeah. There we go. All right, so the um, nice digs. This area seems clean and uh, and well kept. Uh, you can see like people walking around in like in like lab coats and stuff. Um, it doesn't seem terribly large, but there is a sort of like a, a pathway to another area that you can. Mine has so loaded. There's, there's there's like normal gravity here. Yeah, yeah. So as you you like walk, you like climb up a ladder for a little while, like half push yourself up. And once you once you reach the tin can habitat, uh, you know it's like spinning, and so um, you, you can like sort of your centrifugal force pushes you to the outside. You walk along the outside, more or less, right? All right. It's a pain in the ass for me. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. Well, let's um, let's ask um, somebody. Sorry, is I, I disembarked. Do we back? You said there was so like the the mesh on here was like separated from the other mesh or something. Yep. Can yeah, yeah. Can so we can... now that we're in here? Can we access it? Uh, yeah. So you access um, the mesh. You can see that there. Are, it's like a regular mesh. Um, you're not allowed on most of it, but uh, you can tell that there are like psychosurgery servers available freely on the on the net here on the mesh is it possible for us to look for kiyoshi on on the mesh yeah yeah for sure you uh right. he's he's in a lab nearby uh all right so uh we say all right so it's like a couple blocks over let's go okay all right uh so you walk into a lab uh after a few minutes uh, and you you pick out um, or your your mesh highlights a a, a person in uh, a male splicer morph. Uh, he's Japanese, um, and he uh, he notices you as you walk in, and he sort of like waves you over, like friendly. Say, uh, Mr. Um, Katsuro, whatever it was. He says, "Oh, it's so, I'm so glad you could make it. Um, it's been a long time, hasn't it?" Uh, how uh, how are things these days? Um, well, you might have to refresh my memory. He like uh, he like gives you like an eye. He's like, no, I'm I'm sure you remember me. Uh, I'm I'm glad you finally arrived. 
you know, it's it's been a long time since we last did business, but uh, there's something I really want to show you. Uh, do you have a few minutes? I guess we do. Is he talking specifically to Gavin? Yeah, yeah. He um, he pulls out like a small portable server. He's like, uh, perhaps we should discuss this in private. Uh, well, I'm sure you won't mind if my compatriots here join us. They are discreet. He says, uh, no, that's uh, that's quite all right. And he like pulls like a, a wire from the back of his head and like plugs in. All right. I tell Chippy to keep a, an eye out. I jack in. That sure is a good idea. What the hell else are we going to do at this point? All right. Um, so you, uh, you, you sleeve in, or you, uh, you sleeve in, you, uh, you get in, there's, it's, your appearance is, um, like a, a Japanese, like, house, uh, baths, um, and you can see this, the same person standing in front of you, and he's like, um, you guys don't look like the regular type of people who show up on Legba, like, what are you doing here? Say, I'm not sure I want to answer that question quite yet, why, uh. Why don't you tell me why, how you knew we were going to be here? He says, uh, listen, I've been look, looking for a way off this rock for a long time, and uh, if you guys can do it, I'm sure I can help you out. I have a feeling I know why you're here. <laughs> well, if you know, why don't you, why don't you tell me what you know? Uh, and then uh, I'm, I'm sure we can, uh, we can help you uh, leave when uh, we make our own exit. He's like, well... Uh, I couldn't help but notice the Kiwi comms you were carrying. And um, I also noticed that you went and contacted uh, one Amora Tomoti. So uh, that would narrow it nope. down quite a bit, wouldn't it? Nope. What do you know about uh, Amori Tomoti? I said uh, far more than she would like me to or she would like anyone to know for that matter. But uh, don't worry. Although I'm sure I'm not the only one in the station who knows... There's nothing... I wish her no ill will. What about the other people who know? Uh, he says... Uh, he sort of shrugs and he says, um, well, there's a lot of dangerous people on Legba. Yeah, no doubt. Um, you, is he one of them? Are you one of them? He says, uh, no, uh, in fact, I'm... I'm probably one of the least dangerous people here on Legba. A psycho just... Yeah, what are you doing here, then? He says, uh, well, believe it or not, I chose to come here. Although that is a decision uh, you imagine. If you imagine I regret, you would imagine correctly. Uh, my real name is uh, Rokuzawa Cha. I came here to, uh, to, to d discover what Nine Lives was doing with their advances in psychosurgery. And uh, although I can say I'm quite impressed, uh, I no longer wish to remain. How did they reach this point? Sorry? How did they acquire this technology or whatever, or this point where they could just do what they do? He says, I I see you've been acquainted with the uh, the the products of awe. Well, uh, it's quite interesting, to be honest. Uh, awe is a gamma fork of so, uh, an AGI called Austin. Uh, Austin has since been deactivated as it was a seed AI that was ripe for takeoff. However, the uh, the gamma fork has been loaded with uh, subroutines in order to uh, to make it better at psychosurgery. You see, in order to try to contain this seed AI Austin, uh, the researchers at Cognite decided that they would prune a gamma fork and um, feed it sequentially more and more complicated egos so that eventually it could perform psychosurgery on its, on its alpha fork. Uh, it never quite reached those levels, but it has become exceptionally adept at rewriting, uh, rewriting egos. Uh, it, it, uh, it's it's quite, quite fascinating how it operates. So, so sorry, uh, just to get this straight. So a gamma fork would be like a low level like really, really pruned down fork, right? Yeah, that's right. Tertiary and then, fork. And then, oh, this is a, that kind of fork of an AI, like a, like an AI. Like a, a seed AI, which is like ready to like blast off into super sentience. And so the idea was to basically 
train the, the fork to take over the alpha once it got back, but it hasn't gotten there yet. And in the meantime, the it, it's now doing all this on egos. It's so just, wait, where where is where where is the the this Austin AI? Where did it come from, or where is it now? Uh, well, Austin AI is is from is from Prefall Earth. Uh, it sits in Cognite's databanks far from here. Uh, however, its its purpose was to in, eventually be able to perform psychosurgery on Austin to keep it under control. Uh, the idea was to feed all progressively more complicated egos until it could uh, progressively Where? more more advanced prune, uh, forks of all, of Austin until so it could finally both... control the, the main. So they have both uh, all and Austin. Uh, well. I don't really know very well the the whereabouts of either of those. I do know that uh, awe is on the station. Um, to, well, just, Kevin. So, oh, yeah, go ahead. Sorry, just like so to, to Zora, like could could maybe awe be something programmed to kind of destroy Austin when it got back to it, which would then be kind of crippling to Cognite. If Cognite's using Austin for any uh, purposes? Well, it seems from his description like Awe never really got uh, was able to reach the level that it needed to be able to um, overpower Austin. Okay. But Austin is ostensibly under Cognite's control. Yeah. So it's a tool of a megapore. So, yes. okay. But it is like super illegal. Yeah. Right? Like, no, no, like. No. Like, like the worst kind of tech, right? Like risking like existential, you know. Would, would exposing that they have Austin be just as devastating as anything else, you know? Like, uh, as far as just... It wouldn't be good, but, but you'd also have to be able to prove it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I know Zora's interests just lie in, in bringing down corpse, so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you... I'm trying to think of like what, what, what's her take on in this whole situation. Uh, it certainly wouldn't be good for a Cognite to be proven that they've been messing with a seed AI. Although there are, well, certainly would be a lot of people who probably wouldn't be very surprised. Okay. Well, maybe what we need to do is get awe, and awe might be the proof yeah. that we need. If nothing else, we can take it to a uh, firewall, and we can definitely take it to the people. <laughs> take it to the people. He's... Um, the populace deserves to know. Anyways, uh, I say so. Well, so um, since you know uh, about uh, Amari, uh, Amari showed us uh, one of the products of what I suspect, uh, or one of uh, what I suspect to be Oz products, a uh, a poor sap uh, psychosurgeon from uh, Cognite who was pretty much reduced to, I don't know, a blank slate. Uh, he says, uh, would you mind if I took a look at it? Say, uh, yeah, no problem. I guess, can we, like, just plug it in and boot it up sure. here? All right, he takes a minute. He says, uh, yes, uh, it's fascinating. You see, uh, you see, Aud does a, a brute force rewrite of the person's memories, uh, toning down the importance of each of them and adding new false memories as it goes. The, the new memories make no logical sense, uh, but they're all tied very deeply to uh, a certain individual that's pre-programmed when the program uh, executes. Uh, Lindsay? It says, yeah, in this case, Lindsay, although uh, a lot of the work we've been doing here has been to uh, access the command line, if you will, and be able to put in new parameters. So you've worked with all, or you work with the products? He says, uh, well, uh, I'm fairly certain that all exists in an air gap server somewhere in the station, but uh, us and our researchers are able to provide egos to awe and then uh, analyze the results. What's an air gap server? A server that does not mesh. Uh, it doesn't have a connection. Um, say, uh, and you can sleep at night while you do this? He says, um, I don't think you understand what it's like to work here. It's not exactly like we have a lot of choice. Fair enough. Do I hear regrets coming here? So have you guys made any progress? He says, well, we've, uh, 
We certainly certainly have. Uh, our research is basically com complete from that from that aspect. Anybody that we des designate to be the um, executive, if you will, uh, the the Lindsay. the target becomes fanatically loyal to. He says this must be an early copy. Uh, Lindsay, Lindsay's some sort of cognitive executive. Uh, but at this point, we can add anyone into into the parameters of the program. And uh, there's only a few people in the station I can imagine would be uh, would be the ones putting themselves in there. Um, I guess uh, what uh, Eli Gura. He says uh, Ornazan, but yes. And then what do they do with these guys? He says, uh, well, I wouldn't know that. But uh, you can imagine the uh, the consequences we... are quite astounding. Well, anyways, what uh, if we destroy I... it all or the server that it's on? Or Legba. He says, uh, <laughs> not well, big enough. That would be a good start. I think that's a good backup plan, but um, do you have a plan? It might be better that? if we could bring if we could bring all with us. We know some people. Well, let's who... see if we can get off like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, said so. Uh, I take it, um, Mr. Katsura, you know where this server is. He says, uh, "I don't know for sure, but uh, I have my suspicions." There's a secure part of the asteroid uh, where the a lot of the all the servers are are kept. So, what if we uh... try to infiltrate that? We go there, we either get it or we destroy it, and then we call on the cavalry. He says, uh, what do you mean, cavalry? People on horses. Um, we have a, <laughs> we have a uh, extraction plan. He says, uh, yeah, that might be possible. Um, well, how do, how do you recommend we get off the station? He says, well, things have been tense recently, uh, and... They seem to be coming to some kind of head. I don't really know the details of it, but uh, if if you could arrange for some sort of distraction or or something We've got like this that. Octopus here. Well, what do you think the cavalry is going to do? He says, uh, "Well, I don't know what kind of forces you have at your disposal, but uh, the defenses of Legba are quite substantial." Well, if we uh, if we get as far as uh, Oz air gap server and either grab it or destroy it, I imagine that would cause quite a ruckus. He says, uh, "I'd be surprised if you could. Uh, we are on an asteroid filled with bloodthirsty eco pirates, and um, if their every day is keeping people like that out, it might be tough." I agree with you, Katsuri. We got him right where we want him. <laughs> he says, no uh, escape. He's like, I think you misunderstand me. <laughs> Anyways, now that I've helped you, let's talk about getting me off of the station. I would Everybody dearly, I would us. dearly like to merge back with myself on Titan. Hey, well, that's why we're saying. I mean, you're gonna have to, uh, you're gonna have to help us get out of here if you want to come with us. So we got a, we got a ship. So I'm sure you know, since you met us there. Um, he says, I don't think that ship will be leaving Legba. Why not? Well, <laughs> Bless you. well uh, I, I, have a, I have a feeling they only let it dock because it had Apsis tags, and um, seeing as you clearly are not Ultimates, uh, the, uh, the allure may be wearing off. All right, well, we yeah. better hurry before it completely wears off. Is it Well, as you said... Perhaps if there's a big enough distraction. He says, uh, yes, like I said, there's uh, some sort of political maneuvering going on in the station. Uh, and things seem to be coming to a head. Cool. Um, well, that and, you know, if nothing else, maybe Amir will blow some stuff up. Only, only if necessary. And by only if necessary, I mean like... 
Yeah, of course I'll do that. Like definitely. <laughs> I mean, we, so we have like an inside. We have a distraction. I'm happy to buy it. Um, I like the idea of by the way, we'll... sorry, what did you say, uh, Zora? Well, I, I like the idea of, of infiltrating. We have an inside guy that has information on what's actually going on, and you know, we I, I, we've got the skills to to get our way in there. Yes. Between the four of us and the reinforcements that we can call upon when needed, mm -hmm. we should act quick. What is the political uh, head that things are coming to? Um, he says, uh, well, I only get it through through third hand, but um, it seems that the there are rumors of um, Lam Kong Dong planning some sort of takeover the station. Yeah, okay. That's not so surprising. Um, and this is coming in the next days? He says, uh, I only hear rumors. Would, I'm would, stuck here most of the time. Would would that kind of uh, you know uh, commotion benefit or hinder our, our efforts? He um, he sort of shrugs. He's like, well, I. You guys are the uh, special agents. Wow. Well. <laughs> Give it down. Do we, um, I mean, do we wait? Do we wait for the right moment, or do we work before something bad happens? Is kind of the question. Well, certainly, if there's going to be some kind of uh, inter-gang civil war, it might be the right time to uh, to slip out with um, Mr. Katsura here, as well as uh, Tamuti, um, and hopefully. Uh, okay, so here's our plan: we break into the air gap uh, server, we we get off, then we spend the next few days putting up smear campaign posters. Around the ship. <laughs> I was with you for a little while. <laughs> yeah, the first like half sentence that you came up with was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. and then and then and then there's the um, the what do you call it the uh, the homecoming <laughs> homecoming dance homecoming dance. <laughs> well, so here's the thing: if we can commandeer their communication systems, whatever it is, right? We don't necessarily need to fly out of here, right? That's true. What do you mean? Oh, you want a you want a far scape or whatever? Forecast? Yeah. Yeah. We can forecast ourselves out of here, theoretically. Can we um, forecast ourselves with all of the things that we need to get off of here with us? Yeah, I don't think so. I guess that's well, really just awe and our two friends. Well, yeah. it might be hard to bring all with us, I guess. I don't know. I imagine if they well, have some kind of like upgraded fork of a seed AI, that fork is probably fairly dangerous too, and not something you just want to. I don't know. Send over the. Yeah. I imagine. I imagine the the fact that it's on a gap server might not necessarily just be so people can't get to it, but also so it can't get out. Right. Um, So I don't know. I guess we could. Uh, while I would, uh, I would like to to take all, so we can use it to expose those um, hypercorp fascists at uh, whatever yeah. it was. Uh, uh, Cognite. At Cognite, um, if uh, if the only uh, of the most doable plan involves us just uh, um, destroying it, then uh, I mean. So be it. It would kind of break my heart to not really stick it to Cognite, but that's better than nothing. I'm with you, Zora. I'm with you. There's a twinkle of a, a burning flame in the back of Zora's eye. <laughs> Could we, would it be possible to somehow contain awe? Um, in a uh, stack? Is it something you could like throw on a stack or on? Yeah, you could. You small, could throw something. it on a. You could throw it on a. Yeah, there's. He, is it possible to like contain it flash while it? you far cast it out? Uh, yeah, probably. 
I guess the trick is to far cast and then make sure that whatever is left behind is destroyed, right? Right. I think we, I mean, but like, I think our best option is still a physical extraction. Yeah. Agreed. If possible. Yeah. I'm just saying we should keep that in mind because if, if this whole place goes up, goes to shit, um, our best bet for getting out of here might be to to commandeer the far casting equipment, cast ourselves out, and then um, it's definitely an idea. Do the old self destruct. <laughs> yeah, the old, the old I, I mean, I imagine the old, right because they're talking about how like people are far casting here, so you must be able to go the other way. Sure. Um, but I guess it's under kind of lock and key. Well, uh, it's not just that; it's that like you know you're uploading yourselves to a nine lives server. server. Yeah. Right? Like, it's so sort of a dubious proposition. Everything. They could copy everything that gets, like, far-casted, maybe? Well, yeah. they'll copy you, too, and, like, then you wake up in a prison cell for a thousand years with, you know... Yeah. Yeah, that's what I meant. Spiders under your fingernails. So, yeah, well, I, while, I, while I agree that, that going going or leaving physically is uh, is the ideal, I'm just saying we might need backup plan here. Guys, I, I fear that we're focusing on the exit plan when we haven't actually enacted or come up with any doing plan. All right, fair enough. Um, Katsuro, uh, you said that the, you're part of whatever, feeding all this um, these psychosurgeons? Yeah. I mean, so, yeah, different egos. So, like, how does that how does that process go down? What's the protocol? Um, he says, well, um, we give uh, Nizan's, Nizan's men, the egos that we, wanna, we want all to interrogate, and then uh, an hour later they come back and we get, to, we get to, you know, work backwards just to figure out what happened to them. So, so you give them, like, the, the raw egos and they come back these, like, puddles he says uh yeah it depends we've we've managed to do to do enough work where um we can we can sort of feed some command line arguments into awe but but yeah who's who's we in this scenario you're yeah other... he's like he like says uh well me and the other scientists here has any ego ever managed to not be like completely destroyed he or, says, uh, yeah. well, other than Austin, no. God damn it, Austin. <laughs> Amir, why you don't you go? A... <laughs> why don't I go? Yeah, we'll send your ego. That, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. You, you, won't be a, what? you won't be saying that afterwards. <laughs> Once you're blubbering idiot, you know, yeah, yeah, we'll yeah, just yeah, have yeah, you kill yeah, yourself. Yeah, right, right. That, that's, uh... Yeah, no, that's all right. Um, well, I was just say that one one idea is certainly to 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 pass one of us in and see if we can do battle. But I don't really know if I like the prospect of that. <laughs> so, um, so, wait, so this, this, this C D I seems so, plan, so, pretty formidable. Turn us in. So that <laughs> <laughs> so, but what's, you're suggesting this? Wait, so what's, okay. It's, a, it's like, like, so awe is in an air gap server, which means that these egos have to be physically brought to it, which yep. means somebody is doing the bringing. Like, we, why don't we be those people to do the bringing? But we'll I mean, bring I'm fake sure ones, not real ones. Be, but it doesn't matter what we bring. You don't think that that's pretty, like, tightly guarded? Well, like, so the people who would have access to it are not going to be us. Let's well, make it less guarded. Well... So I ask, I ask Katsur, do they, the people who, um, the the guys that that bring the the egos, do they come here and pick them up by any chance, or do they uh, just come here and drop off the? He uh, says, uh, well, few times, few times, a few times, Ilagua has come down to to see our our work in progress, but in general, we we transfer we transfer them via cold uh, cold storage device. Yeah. Is that like Dippin' Dots? No, like a like a hard drive, like a non instantiated hard drive. 
you know, I mean, there's some ideas, but it would require us to get like to like commandeer like a resleeving clinic and getting hold of the yeah. guards morphs. I mean, we can we we don't have to be a hundred percent resleeved as guards. Like we could just pass ourselves off, probably. But well, I, I asked Jordan, really like, right is it is it usually the same guys that that do this? I imagine they don't just let any uh, any asshole walk in there. Um, yeah, it's a specific and interface thing. with their most secure server. Uh, he says, well, no. Um... They have special access, but there are there's a few people who probably have access around the station. I imagine uh, any of the leaders of the Nanchans probably would have access to the server. Uh, Elagua or Nazan himself. Um, I mean, it, it's it is possible to either infiltrate or simply offer our services to one of the like factions that is in this, uh, you know, like inner political turmoil, right? And like use that. To gain to gain access, like maybe this guy that's trying to take over the station needs like uh, you know some help that we will pretend to provide and then not actually. Need it. All right, I mean, there's like a framework of a plan there. Okay. But I think it needs some details. <laughs> well, some I meat. think it would it would partially it would depend on whether or not we had any reason to believe like which side of which one of the factions might actually like have a way to give us access, right? Like who we were to talk to. I don't know if the if the coup maker or the or the coup victim is the one that like is really controlling. Um, I mean, that's kind of irrelevant. The the question is, for a bunch of guys who have easy access to like mindless like slaves of every make and model, what can we offer? Well, but do all the factions have access to these guys? You know, that's right. Well, not the like grunty ones, probably. Right. All right. Um, well, so I, I don't know if you guys want to make a decision now, but I think we're just about out of time. Um, we could we could sit on our. Decision. You want to you want to sit yeah. on it? Yeah. I think it's gonna take us a while to kind of suss it out. Kind of suss it out. That's okay. fine. Okay, cool. All right. Well, uh, thanks for playing, guys. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, and we will have the con thrilling conclusion next week at 7.30 Eastern. Uh, that's a lot of pressure to make it thrilling. Oh, no, it'll be thrilling. I heard something <laughs> about there's cannibals in the next section. <laughs> uh, Normal yeah. Tuesday night. Right. Yeah. Right. So, um, <laughs> so that's, what, the 23rd, and then Cthulhu starts the week after that? Right? Yeah, uh, Trail of Cthulhu will We're start on the doing, 30th. We're not doing Shia LaBeouf. That's no, we won't do... Uh, that's all right. The we video won't do actual is, Cannibal you know, Shia LaBeouf. I don't know if we need to play. <laughs> all right. Okay, cool. Well, all right. Thanks, Duke. Good job. Okay, cool. All right. Yep, we'll, thanks for we'll running. see you guys next week. Yeah. See you next week. Bye. All right, thanks, everybody. Bye, y'all.